Our top story is this. It's just come. I mean, I can almost feel that it's warm, not because of the fact that the M1 chip is overheating or any which way. In fact, it doesn't. Uh, on the Apple MacBook Air, it doesn't even have a fan and it performs very well. It's warm because you can literally say it's hot off the press, hot off the building blocks from where this was built. This is one of the world's first MacBook Pros which does not have an Intel chipset inside. This is Apple moving on to their own domain, their own M1 chip, and it is a very, very big deal. It's a very big deal because Apple has always wanted to do this. Apple has always wanted to control their hardware and software and all the options that come with the hardware and the software. But the fact that they had to rely on Intel to do everything, especially to do with their desktops and laptops, that has always been a problem. They've now moved on to this. But while we'll review this, obviously, the big questions that come up is, is it as good as the kind of benchmarks we're getting? After all, this has got a piece of software playing between the hardware and all your old apps. At one point, all software will be rewritten for this particular chip. Right now, it's got a piece of software that adapts everything to this chip. So with that piece of software, is this still a performance rocket? How good is the battery life? What else did I feel when I was using it? And the second question is, what happens to the Intels and the AMDs? If Apple has ditched them, will all the others This moment took more than a decade in the making. Apple finally announced this year that they are ditching Intel processors and are developing their own silicon chips. The result? Apple's first SoC designed specifically for MacBooks, the M1. The Cupertino giant has made some big claims with this chip. Time to test those today. Visually, the MacBook Pro with us looks exactly the same as it used to a year back. It features the same 13-inch Retina display which has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels with Apple's True Tone technology. In terms of ports, it's typical Apple with minimalist taking priority to usability, just two USB Type-C ports. Enough about the aesthetics, which have not changed at all to what has been the biggest change not just in this MacBook but in Apple PC history, the M1 chip. The Apple Silicon integrates a proprietary 8-core GPU, which in Apple's own words, are further dissected into four high efficiency and four high performance cores. The first chip designed specifically for Mac, M1 packs an astonishing 16 billion transistors at just 5 nanometers. The chip makes way for 15 times faster machine learning while performing 11 trillion operations every second. Making its debut with the M1 chip is the latest Mac OS Big Sur. And yes, it makes a lot of difference. Now that Apple's reputed software and hardware integration is playing well together inside the MacBook, we get to see some really outstanding features. You can now access all your favorite iPhone and iPad apps from the App Store on your MacBook. A point to note here is that apps and developers are still going through a transition phase and this means that not all the apps can take advantage of the benefits of the M1 chip. While all the optimized apps for the MacBook are performing better than they used to, there is going to be some time before independent developers catch up to this transition. So that means some of your favorite third-party apps will be running via Rosetta 2, which is Apple's method of converting code and ensuring a seamless experience for apps. The 8-core M1 chip combined with a whopping 1 TB of storage and 16 GB of memory on board on our review unit makes the MacBook Pro an absolute beast. We decided to go on some sparring rounds with this machine. Round 1 started with us doing some heavy-duty multitasking. From copying heavy footage to and from the MacBook to running multiple apps, this Pro machine performed all the tasks in a flash. Round 2 was a bit more complex. We decided to edit on the latest MacBook. The render time is drastically reduced and the laptop doesn't heat up at all. For a professional who makes content every day, the new MacBook is a blessing. Where the M1 chip absolutely shines is improving the battery life. We drove the laptop hard for over three days with moderate to heavy usage at all times. To our surprise, the battery life was excellent. About 20 to 22 hours of solid usage. It will not be surprising if the M1 powered machine set industry standard for battery optimization. 
A lot has changed under the hood, but some of our favorite features are consistent. We get a backlit Magic Keyboard which is a delight to type on. The same 720p HD FaceTime camera great for your video calls. And the debatable touch bar with the physical escape key. To conclude, the MacBook Pro has always been a go-to media machine for artists, musicians and content creators. But with the latest M1 chip, it only gets better. In every aspect, the M1 MacBook Pro beats the Intel-powered MacBook by a huge margin. Fortunately, Apple for a change has not raised the price of the machines carrying the latest silicon chip. Starting at Rs. 1,22,900, this is the best MacBook that Apple has ever made.